The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Okay, let's read Psalm 2 verse 8. I want us to read the English and the Cree as well. Let's read Psalm 2 verse 8. 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 The ends of the earth, your possession. And you, me and you, and you tell me what to know. Be some me. Be some me. Now me the amount mine. Now me the amount mine. Be your wape jadi. Be your wape jadi. Now my mama fasa si ano. No one ediso. No one ediso. Now my mama fasa si ano no one ediso. Na mamwa fa sa si ano ma ediso. Ask of me, be some me, and I will make the nations your inheritance. Na maya amanga ma. The ends of the earth your possession. Yes, yes, on Wednesday, and we started on Wednesday. We could not hear fear. I was saying that God is putting things together. And the devil is busily scattering them. While God is making whole numbers, the devil is making fractions. But the church will rise and make sure that the kingdom of this world become the kingdom of our Lord. The devil will only succeed when we sleep. Because for dominion belongs to the Lord. And he rules over nations. God rules over nations. He is not just a ruler of nations. He is a creator of men. He made the earth. He is the sole owner of the earth. And everything in it. But when he created the earth, he didn't go up there and live in heaven and slept. He still rules in the affairs of men. So we should not give any portion of his planet to the devil to oversee. The kingdom is his. The glory should go to him. Because dominion is his. But the devil is busily trying to scatter and divide. He does that with deception. He was bound into the bottomless pit or you'll be bound into the bottomless pit because of deception. When he's released, because his nature is wisdom and lies, which makes him a deceiver, he, will, he cannot do anything about changing his nature. So he will go out again and deceive the nations. How does he do that? How does he go about deceiving the nations? We said that he does that through teaching. Teaching. And may I remind you of 1 Timothy 4, verse 1 and 2. I want you to lift your heads and look on the screen. The Spirit clearly says that in the latter times, some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. 
You see, in Ephesians chapter 10, well, 3, verse 10. Let's go to Ephesians 3, 10, and we'll come back to this. One. This is the main test that drives the agenda of possessing the nations. When we are talking about possessing the nations, our next five-year vision, this is the main test that drives it. His intent was that now through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms. Now, when we are talking about authorities and rulers, we are talking about people like uh, the presidents and the kings. But this one, he says that these rulers and authorities, they are in the heavenly realms. They are spirits. These powers, they are, they are greater than the witches some of us fear. If they are rulers and authorities, then they deal with rulers and they deal with authorities. They, they don't deal with us. These are the forces that govern nations. And from the devil to these people, they use agents who bring teachings. Controlled by the rulers and authorities. Ah, Let's go back to First Timothy four, verse one and two. Go to Timothy four, verse one and two. Timothy four, verse one and two. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit. This is the capital S. Clearly says that in the later times, some who abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. I said the other time that you see demons in classrooms or in churches teaching. Because demons are spirits. So how do they do it? Verse 2. Such teachings come through. Such teachings come through. So the demons teach through hypocritical lies. These are two words put together. Hypocrites and liars. They are pretending they wear, they masquerade. They wear, they masquerade. They masquerade. They masquerade. They masquerade. They Hypocritical liars whose consciences have been seared with hot iron. They know that what they are doing is evil, yet they will go on doing it, maybe because of money, because they have been held captive by the devil. Let me remind you again of Second Timothy 2, 23. Do not have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments. Because you know they produce quarrels. 24. 
And the Lord's servant must not cry. Instead, he must be kind to everyone, able, able to teach, not resentful. Now, as I said, as I said, as now, go to verse 26. Let us read that one together. Let's read that one together. Ready, go. And that, and that they will they come, come to their senses and escape from, from the, the trap, trap of the, the devil, devil who has taken them captive to do his will. So we are saying that these demons have taken certain people captive to do his will. Now, so, so the devil's teachings come through such people whom he had held captive and because he, have, he is controlling them to do his will, they lack conscience. Second Timothy two seventeen. Timothy Huma at a swear being tear being the Chemu do song. Their teaching was spread like gangrene. Among them are Herminius and Philetus. One church, a better treasure to sell Bore. A beatessa, me Herminius and Philetus. Now, this are names of human beings who have been held captive by demons. They are hypocritical liars. And they, their teaching comes from the demons. Their conscience is seared. These are real human beings. It says that their teachings will spread like gangrene. The other time I explained this gang, I says that it blocks the flow of blood. And it kills all the substitutions. So the teachings of the enemy is to bring death and destruction. The targets is to capture the human mind. And by extension, capture the nations. Why am I saying that capture the human mind, capture the nations? I said the other time that, that your teaching will give rise to belief. And your belief will give rise to your conduct. And your conduct will affect your culture. So the devil is interested in infiltrating our cultures. And control the soul of our nation. That is the reason why he's teaching all this stuff. These are teachings of demons. But you see, the devil, this one is a counterfeit of the real one. It is effective because that is how kingdom spread. It is a spiritual principle. Any nation that wants to prosper should first think about the minds of its natives. When your citizens are not educated, forget about development. When Nebuchadnezzar had the Daniels, the Meshite, and the Abednegoes, he decided to train them he didn't give them physical education. He captured their mind. He taught them the philosophy of the land. And the culture of the people. 
That is the only way to transform people. You see, somebody says that let others write the laws of this nation and I will write the philosophy and the literature of the nation. The, the literature and the philosophy of the nation is more powerful than the law. How many people know the law? But you sing a song and all the young men will sing. I said the other time that we shouldn't sit down and stare and look at all these things go on unconcerned. These are teachings of demons. But Jesus said, I have much more to say to you. More than you can bear. But when he, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, Comes. he will guide you into all truth he will not speak on his own he will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come he, when he the spirit of truth come he will show you the truth. So he is also going to teach us something. He is also a teacher. He is also a teacher. Jesus told the disciples, go out into the world and make disciples. And when you have baptized them, teach them. So it is teaching against teaching. Teaching against teaching. The essence is to control the nations. So the battle for the nations is fierce. We need to get involved. Scripture says that teach them. And when you teach them, it will bring the renewal of minds. By extension, the transformation of the person and culture. This is what we have said up to this point. What then do we do? You see, after the disciples received this instruction from Christ, they moved out preaching and teaching. How many of you have Bibles on your laps or on your laptop? Let me see by hand. It is, it is your life. Show me by hands, those of you have Bibles. One our Bibles for Hanoa Mason America. We are to be there, and now we'll be. What to be there, who will be, Bounce Asson America. Now, you put your hands down. You found Sato. Deuteronomy 32 47. Most of whom are to swear, no, it is Edia San Ebian to Timu Edia Nang a song. And I want you to please, if you can, if you cannot, no problem. If you can, please stand up and let's read this one. So, be to me, Jinahua, Jinahomi and Kangi. If you can, if you are not able, don't worry. Who do want to? Let us read this one. Amomi and Kangi. This is, let me give you the background. This is when God told Moses to write down the law before he leaves. And then cause them to even sing it. Let's read together, ready, go. They are not just idle words for you. They are your life. It's okay. I'm not interested in the rest. This Bible that you have our own king kind. They are not just idle words. They are your life. Bible, yeah, we create our own king. And yes, we know, and yeah, we know. 
It is the life of your family and the future of your children. It is this one that one we use to battle against the forces that is coming. You feel your, 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 your children's mind with this one and no, no weapon of the enemy can penetrate. But with some of us, the Bible is there. We don't even read it. But it is your life. And you don't read it. You will lose in life, definitely. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray that the Lord will help us to be able to go into the scriptures. Kabori and Dalawasha. Sandro Sukibe, Shelly Batarama Sabatama. Do Sukaya Shambala, Bimbori and Dalabata. Rasabeki Bo, Sudolo Shabara Mababa. Kayasoto, Sudolo Saba, Reneri Ambari Baba Yamako. Amen. Please let's sit. So I want to As we are bringing our session to a close, I want us this morning to take it easy. And then take some concrete decisions. Then decide that you are going to walk in them. Understand that the battle over the nations begin with your mind. The minds of the people. Through teaching. Therefore, fill your mind with the word of God. What are you going to do from today? From today. Now, I just want to bring what I have for today. And then we'll pray. I try to recap what I said the other time. Because the continuation of the Wednesday's meeting or sermon. So when the disciples decided to go in response to Jesus' word or command that they should go and teach and make disciples. The scripture said of them in Acts chapter 19, verse 18, 18, 18, 18 to 20. Sometimes I want us to be reading the thing itself. Many of those who believe now came and openly confessed their evil deeds. Bebrea was sacra no wangasa baba can ne bonia wanga ye. What is going on? A number who had practiced sorcery brought their scrolls together and bend them publicly. What is going on? They are responding to the preaching and the teaching. Before they got there, there was darkness already. The devil has held them captive. So because they believe certain things, they practice sorcery. But the entrance of the way brings life. And the light will shine in the darkness. And the darkness will not be able to overcome it. 
The devil is teaching. But you see, just as one snake of Moses' rod swallowed the snakes produced by the, 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 the witches and the witchcrafts in Egypt, so is it that one word will drive away darkness. Sanya Moses Puma Dango won a memory Pharaoh a confono Puma a dendang a won a wabako and many Pharaoh dinning in Sana Samba Kuafin Yamu whom Bethu Wano Maban a beka upon some persuading him. They brought their scrolls together and they burned them publicly. What one Chanawea, what did the Suman in our bar and Wakambo show? When they calculated the value of the scrolls, now Chanawano Wakambo on Nebosum. The total came to 50,000 drachmas. Not Nebusis, Gitabona, and Pim Adunum. Look at the next verse. Let us read together. In this way, the word of the Lord spread widely and grew in power. Now, this is just like what we were talking about, the teachings of demons. It says that it grows like gangrene. And this one also grows with power. With power. Therefore, the devil can only be seen to be taking, maybe uh, to be winning if we shut our mouth. But when we don't, their rock is not like our rock. Amen. Let me read that verse for you. Deuteronomy 32. Verse 31. I think this one it will be good for us to read. For they are rock. You see the you see the small letter R. They have rock. It's not like our rock. But their rock is not like our rock. They will, one more time and to say they will only win when we go to sleep. So you that there, and no will be to me. Because when they teach and we also teach, it says what church now you also church. Their rock is not like our rock. One more time and to say and see, I like even the last part more than the first part. And they far to swear be no cry and He says that as even our enemies they concede. Now she, your time for cry get to me, sir. Even the devil knows. Praise Even the God. devil himself, he knows. Praise God. Yeah, you never know the stuff the church is made of. Oh, When I went to my first station. I like my first station more than all the stations that I've ever I like my first station. The elders, they were old men. <laughs> and then they used to put on cloth when they come to church. Because they were too old to be in suit. But they liked a certain song. And you see, I learned that song from that station until I went there. I didn't know that there was a song like that in the church of France. Michen kunim defo, Michen kunim defo, Michen kunim defo, Namumbi nechi, Mufasa de kwa, Namumo se, Michen kunim defo, Namuni me. Now the song is this. 
Me too, ni ye, pa. Ose, me chen kwe ni mdifu. Me chen kwe ni mdifu. Me chen kwe ni mdifu. I am more than a conqueror. Na, muni mechi. Follow me. Mumfa asadekwa. Take spoil for nothing. Na mumu ose. And rejoice. Me chen kwe ni mdifu. I am more than a conqueror. Na, muni mechi. So follow me. So it is like it is Jesus who is speaking. Inti ya tisa yesu na orekasa. Me chen kwe ni mdifu. Me chen kwe ni mdifu. Me chen kwe ni mdifu. Se muni mechi. Mumfa asadekwa. Na mumu se. Me chen kwe ni mdifu. Na muni mechi. O mumfa asadekwa. Na mumu se. Me chen kwe ni mdifu. Na muni mechi. This is how powerful the church is. And this is how powerful our rock is. He is more than a conqueror. Let us follow him. And we will be more than conquerors. The apostle Paul is saying that in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Even our enemies, they are aware. What do we do? Three things I will suggest. The first one.